All right, everybody. Today I'm here to talk to you about the J Labs J Buds Air A and C. I'm going to talk about their specs, their latency, their sound quality, their microphone quality, and who should consider buying these $69 feature laden A and C earbuds from J Labs. Now I'll put links to the Amazon link where you can purchase these, and also to J Labs' excellent web page with tons of information, really well written information about how to use these earbuds. Now these earbuds are a dot style earbud. They're a little bit of a bigger earbud, but you know, they're decently light and they come with these wing tips. So you can get them to sit really comfortably in at least my ears. They come with three sets of silicone ear tips plus that foam cloud ear tip. And this style of earbud isn't normally great for running outside, but these do have that wing tip and they do have an ambient mode, which are two things that I think are really helpful for running. And in their case, the Smart ANC is also helpful for running. So I'm gonna give these an okay for running, but not a great for running. Now the case, the case is not the smallest case that I've tested, but considering the massive 12 millimeter drivers in the buds and all the features that they pack, maybe that's okay. I mean, at the least, the buds are really easy to get in and out of the case, and the charging connectors work really excellently. Plus, the lid is one of the best that I've used uh, of any case. They just don't close and the buds stay in there really nice. Now, the case charges via a built-in USB-A cable. It has three lights on it that indicate the remaining charge, and that makes a lot of sense, logically, right? Because the case can charge the bud, guess how many times? Wait for it three and <laughs> one per light right and again j labs uh, excellent website has instructions that explain exactly the function of the lights in case you ever forget or you really want to know but basically three lights is how many charges you have left now the buds will last 10 hours per charge and 40 hours including that case 10 plus three charges extra 40 total hours and that will drop to 24 hours if you're using anc all the time now, the active noise cancellation on the J Labs um, is a smart ANC, and I think their ANC is probably underrated, right? Because their ANC on here is designed to reduce what wire cutter would call eardrum suck, or what I call constantly in my videos, occlusion. And they succeeded, right? You get passive noise isolation with the ANC off, and you can use their smart ANC to reduce outside noise even further. I use these today while bagging leaves, right? Both with an electric leaf blower and with a gas leaf mulcher. And the ANC was really welcome. Now, I bagged leaves last weekend with the ANC of the One More, the One More ANCs, which it's not as strong as the One More ANCs, but these are $100 cheaper than those here, buds. So, you know, still really great. Now they support AAC for high definition audio and they have a movie mode for truly lag free video watching experience. I mean, I'd even recommend these for gaming with that low latency mode. They're definitely acceptable for gaming. I would rather use these to play Call of Duty Mobile than not use earbuds because they're, they're definitely better than just using the phone speakers. movie mode. Movie mode. Now the touch controls default to the same touch controls that the Epic Air and Epic Sport ANC default to, which means no previous track. But unlike those two slightly more expensive earbuds, you cannot change the controls on the J Buds. So you're stuck without previous track, but they do everything else, including volume and voice assistant. They're really good touch controls. You really can't complain unless that previous track means a lot to you. These have Bluetooth 5.0. They have mono mode. You can swap them independently in and out of the case. The Bluetooth range is absolutely phenomenal. It is the best, in fact, that I've ever tested. I can't even measure how far away I was, but here's a laser measurement of 109 feet, which is totally awesome one way or the other, right? And I really didn't have any problems using these 
during my workouts or uh, on my morning jogs. These earbuds themselves are IPX55 rated, which is totally rain and workout ready. So you should have no problems with that. On to the sound quality and like in talking about sound quality, it's just going into using these earbuds. They have 12 millimeter drivers. And for a dot style earbud that does a deep seal in your ears, that is a really large driver. I mean, it's the largest that I've tested matching the Trania M10. And that said, my thought coming into this test was that the bass would just totally dominate everything that I would be hearing and it would be hard to balance that bass with the mids and the highs because that driver is just huge. This is definitely bordering on the territory where the bud manufacturers should go with a dual driver or you know a single driver with a balanced armature driver to get all of the bass and all of the clarity possible out of something about this size. But JLabs figured something out here. I mean they didn't overboost the bass. And they push the high frequencies on these earbuds enough that they get details in the highs. And then you can crank up the EQ modes, right? The bass boost mode, and you can get more bass than you actually probably want. You can go to JLab Signature, which is a good balance between detailed highs and solid bass. And you can go balance, which just kind of isn't my thing. <laughs> but anyway, with those modes, you're gonna really enjoy these. And I think that the sound stage is actually quite wide. You check out Billie Jean by Michael Jackson or Darude Sandstorm, and I think you'll agree that the sound stage is wide. You get a lot of things going on left, right, and precision on where things are placed. Vocals are really centered and forward. If you listen to Love Lies by Khalid and Normani, you're gonna see just how good they are. And the details and the highs are really evident in ACDC's Long Way to the Top if you wanna rock and roll. Check out the bagpipes near the end of the song. So overall, look, the sound quality in these is very good. And I think that that sound quality is super enhanced by their smartly including their, their EQ mode on these. Plus, you get those foam tips. That's going to make it even better. Okay, so lastly, let's check out the four mics on the JBud Air ANC. But remember, J Labs did not include their C3 calling technology, so they don't actually have noise reduction. But they do have four mics, which is a little confusing to me. Let's see how they perform. This is a test call with the JLab JBudge Air A and C. I'm out on the streets uh, looking for some traffic to test the JLab JBudge Air A and C. Here's a uh, headband on the buds and what they look like inside. They're actually a pretty large bud, but they have 12 millimeter drivers. They have a ton of features. I mean, they almost have as much features as the JLab Epic Air and Epic Air Sport but they don't quite have as many. They don't have that app access control. This is, again, a phone call to my Google Voice with tons of traffic going by now in the background. And I'm just going to call it and see how well these fare. So based on that test, the JBuds do do a good job of picking up my voice, even with traffic in the background, but they don't reduce that background noise at all. So I'm giving them like a solid mid-pack rating on the mics, but you can decide for yourself based on that test. So here's how I rank my love-hate relationship with these earbuds. I totally recommend them with the solid set of features for $69. I mean, you definitely get more than you get with the $59 earbud, uh, ANC earbuds that I've tested. The passive noise isolation plus that smart ANC make voice calls sound pretty natural to me, which I really like. But they're frustrating for running outdoors. They're good, but the wingtips move way too easily that you're gonna have to maneuver them around all the time during a run, which is bad. The sound is good, especially with the EQ modes. They're excellent, absolutely excellent for watching movies and they're totally acceptable for playing video games. So I absolutely recommend these. J Labs, I can totally and easily see how these could have been so much better. And this is why I hate these earbuds. I feel completely teased by J Labs. You've got the Epic Air and Epic Sport ANC buds for 99 bucks, but those two earbuds have gone on sale in the last few weeks for 49 bucks, twenty dollars less than these J buds. And both of those, even though their MSRP is more expensive and they have more features, have gone on sale for less. But hey. Dot style earbuds are by far the most popular earbuds, judging from my channel and my views. So I don't understand why you, J Labs, sadly, sadly omitted wireless charging, C3 noise canceling mics, app compatibility, which would let me change the touch controls and add that previous track if I wanted, plus the fourth EQ setting, 
and in-ear detection. I mean, J-Labs, if you're listening, if you're watching, like improve those four things, shrink these earbuds by 20 to 30%, charge me a little bit more money, charge me the 100 bucks that you're charging for the other ones. You will have a class leading bud that everyone will have to chase. But in the meantime, there's still a solid recommendation at $69. Just don't compare them to the Epic Airs. <laughs> Thanks for watching my review of the JLab JBuds Air ANCs. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone.